Today lecture I am going to discuss what how to read multiple files simultaneously in Java programming language. So first here I used to this imported package I imported java.io. So if I make that comment okay so here I am getting go red mark on buffer reader class. So buffer reader class definition comes under IO package. Input output package so this package that required now thereafter here a string class and object is file one and there I pass the path so here I am going to select another path so th this two table sorry this two files I am going to use department this one and this one EMP so here take the cursor so comma separated files are there departments and EMP also comma separated so here let's so uh, rename and copy okay and this now in place of this location let's uh, and here departments departments and give the file extension csv so double backward slash that required now this here new location emp dot csv so here a string class object file when this location has and file to this location has now buffer reader so the use of buffer reader to read the text from the character input string so this is the use of buffer reader okay so this is used to read the text and here b1 is the object of buffer reader class new buffer reader and here new file reader so file reader is used to read the files content so there I pass here file 1 and next b2 is the another object of buffer reader there uh, created the object b2 thereafter new buffer reader and here this time that read file 2 so file 1 content goes to b1 and file 2 content goes to b2 while true if the condition is true so a string cross str1 new object here b1 so b1 that read line so read all line of text so this read the line of b1 text thereafter this is to into str1 and here next that read the lines of b2 text okay and uh, that is to into str2 so first line that read by first line read then is to into str1 then second line sorry first line of uh, b2 that read is to into str2 so if that not equal then that continue print the contents of str1 line and str2 line so here so this is the first to that given department so department that given so first line or oh, this is the first line department let's make that bigger id next is name thereafter manager there, thereafter location id so this is the first line next here emp or file emp name this all that uh, read by this code now this code so let's uh, control s to save and run the file now here you can see so first time that's uh, uh, reading the line of department next is emp number next here department and next emp number so here it will continue till the while loop falls okay so this is the content you can see this is the department 
RIT and here this is the AMP next uh, this is the reading of this content 10 administrator 200 1700 now you can see third and third administrator 200 1700 so it's uh, reading the line of files simultaneously so there I only gave here auto files now you can increase so if you wanna increase just to uh, take another files include here another files so if you want let's uh, include another files so here I'm going to copy this node and putting in the this and this time here copy so this time using text files control B let's give here file 3 <laughs> and uh, this is the text file node dot txt now here copy this and uh, paste it down and this time giving here file 3 and keep the unique name b3 thereafter there we also need to include and here giving b3 after giving b3 now let's uh, include one more or operator and there str3 double equal to null now str3 thereafter I am going to read print the contents of str3 now str3 now let's see node 1 contents so node 1 first line is 5 root 5 x square 20 x root 5 ok let's uh, run this code now here you can see so here 5 root 5 so this is the first line of department files next here emp file and this here and this one here this is the file of node so here I read the contents of CSV file and the text file like this you can include excel file date file and here this is the department file content second line emp content emp file content second line and uh, inside here node has the blank spaces or blank line you can check that so second line of node blank space so that it's a printing the blank so here printing the blank so this is the way we can read the file contents multiple file contents using java programming language so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you